dividing complex numbers, algebra two trigonometry regions. So the, the two videos ago, we learned about imaginary numbers and uh, the square root of negative numbers, powers of i, stuff like that. A calculator can do a lot of work for us. And the video after that, the previous video was operations with complex numbers, how to multiply something like five plus two i and six minus seven i. And, and again, I showed you how to do it the long way, but I also mentioned that it can be done in your calculator, and that's what we did for a lot of them. Some of them we had to kind of work out manually, but most of it can be done in your calculator. A lot of that can be said again for today, um, but, but not all of it. And I'll explain as we go. First, write the conjugate of this term. And so we're going to be using conjugates for a lot of what we're talking about today. So this is such an easy question, and if it's ever on the regents, you definitely cannot get this one wrong. The thing that people do wrong is they think change the signs, but we don't change the signs plural. The first term stays exactly what it is. You change the sign of the second term. So that's why the answer is A. The negative 3 stays negative 3, but the second piece, the plus 2i, turns to negative 2i. Um, and so that's what's happening here. Okay, but let's now use it. So expressed in simplest rational form, what's equivalent, so on, so on. We saw these with radicals. When we had 3 divided by 2 plus rad 3, we multiplied the top and the bottom by the conjugate. And that's exactly what we need to do here. See, we don't like to have um, irrational expressions in our denominator. We can't have 0 down here. We can't have a radical down here. So it makes sense we also can't have imaginary numbers down here. So we need to get rid of this i. And the way to do it is to multiply out the conjugate. And so the conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 minus. 3i. So we'll multiply 2 minus 3i. Top and bottom. Now the top is 3 times 2 minus 3i. That would be 6 minus 9i. Distribution 2 times 3, 2 times negative 3i. The bottom is going to be FOIL distribution, but because they're conjugates, we have that shortcut where we can just do the first terms, 2 times 2 is 4, and the last terms positive 3i times negative 3i. Now that would be negative 9i squared, but we know that's going to turn into plus 9 because of the i squared. And so that'll give us 6 minus 9i over 13. And that is our answer. It should be d. Now how much of this could be done in the calculator? Well, it depends. It depends on how good your calculator is. Honestly, a lot of you have different calculator softwares. You could try typing it in. Try typing in 3 divided by, now make sure you have parentheses so it knows you're dividing this whole expression down here. So 3 divided by parentheses, 2 plus 3i. And hit enter and see if it gives you this. Now, it might give you something equivalent instead. It might give you 6 over 13 minus 9 over 13i. That's the same thing. It's just splitting them up each, to, each over 13 instead of the whole thing over 13. So that's fine. A lot of you might not have calculators that can do that. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's useless for this because you could do the pieces. Like you could do the top. 3 times 2 minus 3i in the calculator to get 6 minus 9i. And you could do the bottom in the calculator, the 2 plus 3i times the 2 minus 3i. And that should give you the 13. So you could always then put it together. One more. Again, this will be another short video for this because so much of it can be done in our calculator. All right, so the expression 3 minus 4i divided by 5 plus 3i. Let's multiply by the conjugates, 5 minus 3i. Now, if I did 5 plus 3i, that's not going to work out because I would still have an i left over. 5 minus 3i. Again, a calculator might not be able to do this whole thing, but it can do the pieces for you. It could probably do the top. So if you multiply, put that whole thing, just the 3 minus 4i times 5 minus 3i with parentheses in your calculator, it should work out for you, but I'm going to do it the long way. Uh, 3 times 5 is 15. 3 and negative 3i is negative 9i. Negative 4i and 5 is negative 20i. And then negative 4 and negative 3 is plus 12i squared. That's going to end up being a minus 12 because of the i squared. 15 minus 12 is 3. And a minus 29i divided by the bottom are conjugates. So I could just do the first and the last. Now, you could do FOIL if you want. It's just 
kind of a waste because you know you're going to have a negative 15i and a positive 15i that will cancel out. But 5 times 5 is 25. 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared, which turns to plus 9. 29 plus nine, uh, 25 plus 9 is 34. And so we're looking at answer C as the appropriate answer. All right, that's it. I think that's the shortest video of the year so far. See ya.